953-954. Luis King Kong Ortiz, former heavyweight champion of the world, taking on Zach Wheeler and the Phillies, plus 180 to the Pirates, minus 210 to the Phillies. Total of eight with juice to the over at minus 120. All right, B-Dub, does Wally the Alligator jinx your Phillies tonight? Are they going to get it done for you? No, I, I think that Wheeler has just been tremendous uh, over over really the whole season, but particularly the stuff plus over the last 30 days, 87th percentile. And then I think more importantly is the pitching plus, which combines the location and stuff plus is best in baseball. So we got a guy who's got the best stuff in baseball parlayed with the guy who's got the best pitching plus in baseball. And, you know, for me, Ortiz is, you know, we talked about Dakota Hudson. He's 149th out of 152 guys. Well, Ortiz Oof. isn't much better. He was a good fighter, though. Yeah. Uh, and, and he was I'm a gonna, problem. He was a problem. Yeah, yeah he was a good fighter. Uh, a lot of power. But uh, yeah. this, this, this Ortiz, you look at his, and we just talked about uh, Wheeler's pitching plus number in the 100th percentile, best in baseball. This guy's in the third percentile. Strikeout rate, last 150, 16%. Uh, I, I think it's kind of a no-brainer to, you uh, You know, I think I'm going to be handicapping malpractice if I don't recommend Wheeler. You, we, we might get some a watered-down lineup, but there's still going to be pieces in there uh, that, that are going to be good. And I, even, even if we get it watered down, I think we've got enough advantage uh, offensively that it'll still be better uh, than Pittsburgh's offense. So, yeah, put it second leg of the parlay plus 117 uh, with, with the crew. You guys may hear some yard work happening for a minute. I am not home, so I don't have the same sway. I'm in this beautiful place in the San Diego countryside right now. Uh, lots of foliage, lots of greenery, and I don't have the kind of pull that I used to have. <laughs> so you, guys... you were able to get the military to stop the flybys. I mean, I don't know how you yeah. did that. I just, uh, well, I'll tell you what, as a lot of phone, I literally would, I'm not even kidding. Cause I would call them when they interrupt the show and be like, Hey, you know, this is, and they're like, well, we want to be good neighbors. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to be a good neighbor too. So I would call and turn up, I would go to my car stereo and turn it up as loud as I can and just put the phone in the speaker and then ask him, is it hard to work when that's happening? Is it hard for you guys to focus and concentrate when you have this happening? But so I apologize for the little bit of sound. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, shouldn't be very long, by the way. It should be relatively quickly. Uh, yeah, it's going to be loud here for a second. Uh, uh, it's right there. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Corby, uh, I'm going to mute my microphone while you take it away. What do you think here? Pirates, Phillies. Yeah, no, it's fine. I was I was more confused. It sounded like the the startup of a mower sounded like a police like it was like a siren going by. I was I was more worried than anything. I thought uh, we might be in a high speed pursuit, but now the Phillies at the side. I was looking for a runs RBIs here because uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but the Pirates' offense isn't very good. So I, I think Wheeler dominates. There's just not any way to really play it. Uh, one thing I will say, and I talked about this the other day, but I've been really impressed by Jack Sawinski. I think Sawinski is one of the better players on this Pirates lineup. Uh, do I think he can score versus Zach Wheeler? Not in most cases, but uh, he is a guy that I would hope sees a better team or or finds his place on an organization pretty soon because I've really enjoyed watching him play. But for the sake of this game, I, I would lean towards the Phillies. I think any derivative of like the idea that the Pirates can't score and the Phillies can. So like a Phillies to score first minus 125 would be fine. Uh, but I needed 117 to play that. So not that, but uh, any any idea of, of that same theory. Yeah, by my numbers, it's the second biggest pitching advantage in terms of weighted OPS on the card. 830 to 655. Um, someone asks. Mark Holmes asks, who is this Kevin guy you guys always mention, like an invisible friend or something? Well, Kevin is our wonderful producer and an Jeez. amazing freestyle rapper. Wait, you haven't seen anything till you've seen Kevin mob up to someone with his backpack on and let him know what's going on. I don't understand I don't, any of the words, but it's badass. Kevin's badass. Yeah, at zero words. Don't know any of them, but uh, it looks cool. But he's he's part of the team that make us look great. He's our guy that gets us set up for the show, makes us look good, yells at us, gets the gets the live button for us, all that good stuff. So that is who Kevin is. So uh, we we love Kevin. He's a big part of what we do here. Without without them, we we're nothing. We, I mean, we really are. We would just be confused little puppies. Uh, yeah, I've got. Mark says, yeah, I've gone a lot of places, and then we're going back to Vegas. It's been, it's been a nice time. It's been a nice time. Uh, for purposes of this show, I think I agree with base winner here. Uh, the Pirates just don't inspire me at all. But we're going to make this the second leg of the base winner parlay, the Phillies in the first five, along with the Brewers. And that pays a nice price today at 
plus 117. Of course, if I do first five money line parlays, they burn me in the fifth and then win the game. So I've, I've learned that I don't have the magic. You know, I just I, I believe in magic, but I don't know if I have a friend wearing big red shoes. If you guys remember those old Ronald McDonald commercials. Well, the key is you got to believe, Kyle. I mean, I did you believe if you, don't, if you don't believe, but you didn't because it lost. So like, you know, <laughs> I didn't believe hard enough. I didn't believe. Right. So he, I mean, you, maybe I, you, you believed in the full game, but not the first five. Maybe that's probably where you where you strayed there, Kyle. Yeah, I lost faith. That's what I get. That's what I get for being me. I'm an imperfect man. But uh, the base winner parlay again, Philly's first five Brewers first five. And that pays plus one seventeen. 